Corruption is rampant at the highest levels of this government. You will remember during my budget presentation when they tried to prevent me from saying some critical things about governance, even shutting down the sitting of parliament. Well, I went on the street and I said what I had to say and I will say it here again. The failure to disclose the identity of the so-called illicit six MPs who are under investigation by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment remains a festering sore only made worse by the Prime Minister's gag order on Cabinet Ministers speaking publicly on these matters. But wait, comrades, I have to rewrite that part because it is no longer six. It has gone to eight. So let me say it again. The failure to disclose the identity of the so-called illicit eight MPs who are under investigation by the Integrity Commission remains a festering sore, only made worse by the Prime Minister's gag order on his cabinet ministers and MPs speaking publicly on these matters. Comrades, I had to hurry up and say that a second time. Because before we reach and finish here today, maybe it will move from 8 to 12, the way how the number of labor rights elicits seems to multiply like gremlins. We will put a stop to such shenanigans. We will change the law so that all Integrity Commission reports must be published on Parliament's website within a short time, perhaps 24 hours of being sent to Parliament so all Jamaicans can read those reports. Comrades, it is time to change these things. Accountability and transparency matter, and that is change. When the PNP forms government, our job is to create an environment in which Jamaicans can thrive and achieve their versions of the Jamaican dream.